What are you passionate about? Boxing, love it. Mm. Really, but like, I'm p real passionate about football, but I don't think the football's going to happen with my knee again. But do you reckon you can box? I know I can box because I don't care whether I can or I can't. I will do it again. Look, I'm going to do it again. Look, it don't matter what the doctor tells me about my knee, my shoulder. If they tell me your arm's going to fall off if you get back in that ring, I'll let my arm fall off. Look, mm. look, look, I said to you, I had my, my last fight. My shoulder come out in the first 10 seconds. And the ref went to me, oh, are you going to carry on? I went, get out of the way. What, you think I'm, you think I'm not going to fight because my arm's come out of socket? Yeah, yeah, can't get out of the way. That's what, mm. that's what I come here to do, do you know what I mean? Now, this is from my personal point of view. I'm going to say from my personal point of view is that that's the problem I have with something like white collar. Because yeah, there's no... let you carry on, they let you continue. There's no look. problem with that. Yeah. You're a fighter, you're a warrior. You yeah. want to carry on fighting, that's yeah. fine. But should they put you in that situation in the first place where you've got such a bad injury yeah, but that you should be able to fight? That's, that's yeah. where me personally, but, white collar is, is a little bit different. But they would not be able to stop me. I would be going to that fight. The, the, the shoulder come out in training. Oh, the, what, in training? In training before the fight. Oh, okay. I said to Danny, I said, we go Southpaw. He said, you've never done Southpaw before. I said, well, I've got to get in the ring. He said, you ain't got to take the fight. I said, I've got to take the fight. I'm not not having it. Like I said to you before, I go down a dark route when I don't box, when I'm not getting in there doing that. So it's, that's, my, that's what keeps me sane. Look, I had to go and do it. Like, I, there's no way I wouldn't. We knew it was going to come out. It just went. Unfortunately, it was the first 10 seconds. <laughs> 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 but I carried on as much as I could. Got to the end of the second round, I had a couple of standing counts. A fair play to the ref, he did say, look, I can't keep you getting punched. I said, I can't. Yeah. I just said, oh, all right, I understand. Do you know what I mean? Like, do, do they upset. put fighter safety at first in white collar? Yeah, of course, the ref, the ref does. The ref don't want to get in trouble for it, but he, he yeah. gave me leeway because I said, look, I'm fine, I, I'm fine, look, I can, I can still box. I yeah. was, it was the first 10 seconds, I ain't even been punched yet, do you know what I mean? So he gave me a bit of leeway. I, I, I felt like I was winning the first round. I felt like I was winning. So he let the second round carry on. Got a couple of standing counts. I, 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 myself, I wanted to continue. I could have continued. But the ref said, I can't let that happen. So fair play to him. He said, I've took enough shots now. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not even defending my face with my, with, with my hand. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, from that point of view, respect to the ref for that. So that, 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 he's getting picked up. Do you know what I mean? But I didn't tell the ref I was injured before the fight. Yeah. Danny didn't tell the ref. The ref didn't know. Mm. What's he going to do? He's going to let the fight continue, isn't he? So mm. that's how it goes. Cool, man. So you got, your aim is to is continue fighting. It sounds like it, which is I've good. Spoke to, oh, I'm, I haven't really spoke to anyone about it now, but I've been in contact with... We've got James Lee in the gym, yeah? Yeah, James Lee. James yeah. Lee. I spoke to James Lee. We wanted to do some training. We wanted to try and get a pro fighter in this gym to get, get James Lee back, being a pro trainer again. I said, what about me and you trying to do something to get a pro fighter in here? He said, it's going to be hard. He said, a lot of the pro games up with Mackinson and Ballingor and all that. He said, it'd be hard. He said, but we, we, can, we can ask around. And in the end, I want to come back to boxing. I said, what about me? He said, he said I don't know, injuries and all that. I've never done a pro fight before. He said, no amateurs, no ABA. I said, let's go and do the ABAs then. I spoke to Martin Robinson. You know, Martin yes, Robinson. Martin Robson runs a uh, Mount Batten Sun. Yeah, I spoke over. to him on the phone. I said, Martin, I said, what do you reckon? I want to want to try and have at least one pro fight. Try and have one. Can I get any ABAs? He said, come out here, we train you. He said, you can train with James. He said, you've got to come here once a week. So when the, we're, after I had the six weeks off work, from the shoulder, I'll go back for the shoulder. I've got to make a decision about operation on the shoulder, whether it's healed enough or not. The knee, I've got to make a decision on the knee. I've got to go Would you have to do an operation on your knee again? For the, for the cruise ship. But I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to have an operation on the knee if I feel like I don't need it. If I can move okay. Yeah. The doctor did say to me, you, you won't play football again. Not on the knee. If you don't have the operation. He told me it's like eight months recovery. I said, oh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't be out of work for that long. We've got to work. We've got to live. You set your contractor, right? No, I'm, I'm employed by him. Oh, you're employed by him? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm on the sick now because of my shoulder. I was like, they're telling me, what? Look, you've got a tear in your shoulder. They're, they're, the doctor's saying to me, how are you lifting tubes and God knows what above, above your shoulder yeah. and your left arm with that? He said, D -d -d does it hurt? Yeah. We've still got to get paid. Yeah. Still got to go to work. Yeah, so I'm going to go back. Spoke to Martin. Martin said, we'll sort out some fights for you. It's, the season starts in September. Will you be fit by then? I have to stay in contact with him. That's all I've got to do at the moment. That's all I can do. I can't train. I can't do anything else. 
I got some class. Danny Salter sorted me out just to do some classes in Healthy Mountain's gym. Nothing major. Because I, I found out on Monday about the shoulder. I was on the knee. I found out about the shoulder. So now I've said to everyone, if I'm doing the pads, I can, you can only touch them. I can't have you banging the pads on my shoulder coming out of place. Because now I've got something to go for. And like I said, the, the, un, the unlicensed game is like, oh, it's only work called a boxing. But to us, it's like, like I said to you, you don't play boxing, you live it. But now I'm going to try and go, go the next step, do the ABAs, try and get in the pro. And I want to go as far as I can. I don't want to be a journeyman. I'll yeah. go there to win. I've never been to a fight and gone to, to not win. Yeah. I'm there to win. That's what I'm going to go and do. Well, God, why do you want to do the amateur route for the ABA route? Can you not just go professional? How, how, how would you be able to go professional? All you've got is a white collar, seven white collar fights under your name. P people with white collar fights can just turn they professional. Have, but, they'll, but they'll look at me like you want to be a journeyman. If I go into the ABAs with with Martin, he's gonna teach. He's I ain't a skilled, I ain't a skilled boxer. Like I've got, I can, I can get through the fights. Yeah. But it's my heart. My heart takes me there. Do you know what I mean? My heart will get me through it. Like yeah. I will, I will get there. But if I've got more skill than what I've got, I'll go. I'll be able to go for more, a bit further. Martin can give me that skill. James Lee can give me that skill. Danny Salter can give me that skill. I can't do it on my own and. At the moment, how I am, I'm not going to get through it. I'm not going to get to have a fight with a professional fighter because they'll look at me and go, be a journeyman. That's what they'll say, and that's what they'll look at me, Luke. So I need to go down that ABA route, get yes, that experience, yeah. and then and then let, let other people around me help me decide on what to do instead of going there and getting hurt. Because yeah. I will go in there, and I don't want to get hurt. I don't want everyone else to see me get hurt. I don't care about what happens to me. Like, I, I want to get in there, so... I've got to do it properly. Yeah. That's why I'm going down that route. Good. Love it.